In lesson 13, the students learn how to go from ratio tables to equations. Uh, equations are number sentences with an equal sign using the values of a ratio. Okay, so I'm going to show you this table. Okay, hours worked, money made. So the students have to look at the structure of their table and really understand the relationship between the two columns, which is multiplicative, okay? Um, the numbers are either going to be multiplied or divided by the same number in every row. So I'm going to look here, and I'm going to think, does 2 times anything give me 24? Okay, it might be helpful to um, scale this first ratio, 2 to 24, down to its simplest form to see the most raw version of the ratio. 2 and 24 are both divided by 2. Okay, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 24 divided by 2 is 12. And it's really important for the kids to understand for every hour worked, $12 is made. Okay, so 1 times 12 is going to give me 12. So let me check the pattern here. 2 times 12 does give me 24, 4 times 12 does give me 48, okay, it is a ratio table, correct ratio table, and now I have to use my variables to come up with some equations about this table. I'm going to start with the first column, which is H. I'm taking H and I'm multiplying it by 12 to get M money made. But you can do the reverse of that, too. You can start with the second row and try to work your way backwards. This number is 12 times the amount of this number. Okay, so in order to work backwards, we're not going to multiply. We're going to take 24, or M, and we're going to divide it by 12 to get the H hours worked. Okay? Sometimes these tables end up as ratio table or even numbers. Sometimes we have to work with some decimals. Okay, and that's fine too. Okay, the second table I have provided, again, hours worked H to money made M. This is the Ross version, or so it looks in my ratio table, because I know that 2 and 13 can't be made simpler by dividing them by the same number. But, you know, it's money made, and I know money can have sense. Okay, so I'm going to take my calculator, okay, and I'm still going to scale it down because I really want to know the unit rate. I want to know in one hour how much money am I really making. So I'm going to take 5th, I'm sorry, I'm going to take 13. I'm going to divide it by 2, and it's 6.5, which in terms of money, Money comes to the hundredth place because a hundred cents equal a dollar. Okay, that's six dollars and fifty cents. So for every hour I work, I'm making six dollars and fifty cents. Well, let me check this. This should be a one times six fifty multiplicative um, pattern in my ratio table. So let me try two times six fifty on my calculator to make sure it equals thirteen. It does. Let me try 4 times 650 to make sure that it equals 26, and it does. This pattern is going to carry all the way through. So let's write our first equation using our first variable, h. This number is getting larger, so we're multiplying it by 650 to get our m money made. Second equation, let's work backwards. Let's start with our money made. This number, if you look, is getting smaller. It has to be divided, which is the inverse operation of multiplication, by 650 to get your H hours. I hope this helps you with lesson uh, 12, or I'm sorry, lesson 13.